Well, we are standing in the Ganesh Nagar area of Delhi, and right behind me, you can see the heap of garbage which is lying on the roadside uh, in this particular area. And this heap of garbage is right next to the bus stop, uh, uh, the bu DTC bus stop. You can see that how there is a bus stop, and people, in fact, are standing, and it's very difficult uh, for the passerbys or people who have to board a bus from this particular bus depot. It's very difficult for them to uh, stand there. You can see that how you know it's it stinks so it is stinking so badly that it's difficult for us even to stand over here. ये बताइए कब से कूड़ा ऐसे पड़ा है यहाँ पे कब से नहीं उठाया ये? जी अभी हमें तो तीन चार दिन हो गए आए हुए लेकिन ऐसे देख रहे हैं. इस तरह की दिक्कत हो रही है इसकी वजह से. लोग गंदगी की बुद्धू आ रही है. लोग बीमार भी पड़ रहे हैं ऐसा कुछ हमें बता रहे हैं. तो क्या कहना चाहेंगे सरकार से? सरकार से इसको उड़वाना चाहे उड़वाने की दरकास है. Well, you know, that's what people are, uh, you know, in fact, requesting or asking or urging upon the government of Delhi to do, that they should do something about it. Lack of adequate garbage disposal and garbage dumps overflowing are not sites that are endemic only to Delhi. These are sites that are common to every city across India. We are standing in the heart of Mumbai city and there is a garbage dump which is right behind me overflowing. And this is a site which is in, uh, you know, uh, this is quite prevalent across the city, across the stretch of road itself. There are several smaller dumps that we've uh, seen as well. This is another garbage uh, dump which is overflowing uh, right now. Obviously due to the callousness uh, uh, of the civic authorities over here who have not paid attention to the fact that this dump is overflowing. Now with the monsoons out in Mumbai as well, these dumps become a huge health hazard. But because of uh, the lack of any sort of uh, motivation or preparedness uh, by the municipal authorities, uh, these sort of dumps have become plain sight and common sights across the city of Mumbai. Obviously the people of the city are throwing their hands up in exasperation already, which has been of course the case uh, through all of these years. Despite being only the fifth largest city in terms of area, Chennai city has the unique title of generating largest per capita amount of waste in the country. We are here at a dumping yard in Chennai. Around 6,000 tons of garbage is generated every day. The problems of garbage dumping and burning are the major issues that confront the city. Chennai Corporation's efforts to promote so segregation of garbage, including offering gold coins and watches to the residents, have all failed. If the problem is not addressed, then we are well sitting on a ticking time bomb. In Chennai, video journalist Arun Ramsamy, Lokpriya, News X. Well, if Delhi is facing the garbage crisis now, the city of Bengaluru has been facing this problem for the past two years at least, especially it got worse after a huge landfill had to be shut down after protests by locals. And many areas now you can see the same scenario of garbage lying around everywhere. And you have uh, cows and other animals coming over. You also have a huge health risk because this is locals. And many areas now you can see the same scenario of garbage lying around everywhere. And you have uh, cows and other animals coming over. You also have a huge health risk because this is not cleared on a daily basis. And in Bangalore especially, the entire door-to-door -door segregation program has failed. And also the other problem is the fact that there are no enough solid waste management centers. They are still being built, not operational. And also many complaints coming in that the garbage collection happens efficiently only in VIP areas, posh areas, but other areas, normal ones, suffer like this. It gets worse and also poses a major health hazard, especially during monsoon. With camera person Harish, Harish Upadhyay, NewsX, Bengaluru.